Good afternoon. Hi, I'm uh, Lieutenant Colonel Sidney Schneidman. I'm the Illinois Wing Medical Officer. And as you know, we are making every effort to begin the opening of the Illinois Wing for member meetings. So in order to do that, uh, we have a procedure that we'd like you to follow when you have uh, your meetings. So it, it involves a temperature check and uh, a screening uh, with screening questions that I'll demonstrate in a few seconds. But first, let me show you this thermometer. So we will all have this thermometer gun. And this is an infrared thermometer gun with a bunch of buttons on the back, but uh, you really shouldn't need to use them. Um, basically, the, the hardest thing about operating this thermometer is getting the batteries in correctly, okay? So when you get your gun, you're gonna have to put the batteries in, and it's not very well marked. And I had to use a lot of trial and error to uh, get the uh, polarity correct on the batteries. But if you remember the positive battery outlet, uh, battery um, position is closest to the door and the negative then is further away, that's the key, okay? And then you just close it and push it in there. Now, it should come up in Fahrenheit. If it comes up in centigrade, you just press and hold the mode button and that changes it from centigrade to Fahrenheit. But uh, many of them will come up in Fahrenheit as it is. So it's very simple to work. You pull the trigger once, it turns it on, and then you move over to your subject and press the trigger again and that takes the temperature. Okay, so that's, there's also an instruction manual inside the box that you can read if all else fails. Uh, but it's pretty simple to use and, and shouldn't be uh, much of a problem for you. Again, if you have any questions, you can certainly uh, email me. Uh, I'm on the uh, WING website and uh, my email address is there. Uh, uh, Schneidman at uh, illwig.cap.gov. So let's begin uh, our simulated uh, entry of a member uh, coming in for a meeting. Uh, that uh, we, we will be having uh, you know, our routine or weekly squadron meetings. Uh, remember please that as of this phase, which is phase one for Civil Air Patrol, we are limited to only 10 members in the meeting, okay? When we get to phase two, uh, it will go up to 50, but certainly for this first phase, it's limited to 10, and please respect that. That's very important. So we do expect you to be doing this screening uh, I expect you to be asking the questions. I expect you to uh, take their temperature. And what the other thing I suggest that you do is have another member standing over here six feet away, and he can record the member's name coming in, whether he passes or fails the screening, uh, just to decrease the number of touch points in this process so that the member coming in is not handling a pen and signing a clipboard that everybody else is using, okay? The other thing that I wanted to draw your attention to is this chair, okay? So when you set up your screening station, you need to have a chair approximately six feet away. And that chair is for someone who comes in who does not pass the initial temperature screening, okay? So the temperature cutoff is 100 degrees point four, not 104, 100.4, very important. And if he comes up with a temperature approaching or at 100.4, the process is to have him sit in that chair for five minutes and then retest him before denying him entry. So if they fail the screening with an answer, a, a, an affirmative answer to one of the questions I'm about to give to this member coming in, or their temperature is consistently at 100.4 or greater, then they are denied entry. Okay, they have failed their screening. Okay, so um, what I suggest is a small table, some paper towels, hand sanitizer, and your thermometer, and a clipboard with your uh, member um, roster on it for your assistant there to be filling out. Obviously, everybody has a mask on, and I would suggest the screener wear gloves. Okay, so um, let's, uh, this member has just walked in the door and he will identify himself. Uh, Major Trevetti requesting permission, sir. Okay, Major Trevetti, thank you very much. Have you, uh, how have you been feeling? Very well, sir. Uh, any cough or respiratory symptoms? No, sir. 
Have you been around anybody with a uh, diagnosed COVID-19 disease? Not that I'm aware, of, I'm aware of, sir. How about any uh, change in your sense of smell or change in your sense of taste? No, sir. Okay, would you please approach the table and uh, for temperature screening? Please look over there. And this is important because you don't want the, the, uh, the member to be facing you just in case he coughs. Even though we all have masks on, it's important to protect yourself uh, as much as possible. So uh, if you have him be at 90 degrees to you, uh, that's good. So then what you do is you take the thermometer in your right hand there and just walk over here and squeeze it twice. And there we see 97.3 degrees, okay? So, um, you know, again, I, I, we shouldn't be writing down the temperature. Uh, I mean, it's nobody's business what uh, someone's temperature is. That's patient information. So I think just saying pass or fail uh, for the screening, a P or an F, uh, is certainly a, a fine in the uh, line uh, of where the member would normally sign in, okay? So, um, uh, Major Trevetti, you have passed your screening. Please feel free to enter the meeting. Thank you, sir. Please use the hand sanitizer. That's it. Great. And you may enter. Thank you. Okay, so that's the procedure. Uh, there is uh, additional information on the WING website uh, under temperature uh, regulations. There are some signs that you can use if you want to use uh, a couple of stop signs to help uh, demarcate where you want people to wait and stand. You can certainly use those. Uh, that's, that's not mandatory that you use the signage, but what is mandatory is you must do the screening at this point in time. Things are subject to change. If we change it, we'll let you know. But as of phase one, please do the temperature screening. Every unit will get one of these thermometers. If you don't get one for some reason, please contact uh, uh, Colonel Fletcher, the uh, assistant wing commander, and he will make sure that you get a thermometer for you to use. You cannot begin your meetings without a thermometer. It's mandatory that you do a temperature check. It's extremely easy to do. It's a couple of pulls of this trigger and, and you can read it. It'll alarm if it goes over 100.4, but you can also read it clear as day on the back here. It's very simple. I, I would suggest the HSO uh, in your unit or his designee or the unit commander or someone they designate, uh, you know, work with this thermometer. You can practice on yourself or with someone else to understand how it works. It's pretty simple uh, and I don't think you'll have any problem. But again, you can certainly uh, contact uh, either me or uh, one of the other uh, uh, folks in the, in the uh, wing command uh, to help you with any questions. Okay, thank you for your attention. I appreciate your efforts and uh, Hopefully we'll get into phase two soon and open the meetings up to 50 uh, people. But now, as I said, it's just a limit of 10, please. Thank you very much for your attention.